Hello, my name is J. Michael Manley with the J. Michael Manley team here at Keller Williams Greenville Upstate. And today I'd like to give you a market update of how the year 2020 went. Now, what we know is that we've had a lot of turmoil in the country and in the area with COVID and shutdowns, quarantines, uh, also some protests and those items that have kind of curtailed business for most places. And yet for real estate, we did not see a drop in the total number of home sold sales uh, we even seen an increase in home sales and sales, saw an increase in price. So let's dive right into those numbers. So number one, we actually saw a 10.6% increase in the total sales price, meaning that on average, the appreciation here in the Greenville, Greenville Upstate area was 10.6%. So if you bought a house for $200,000 last year, it is now worth 10.6% more on average in this area right now. Now, the next thing is, is let's talk about total number of home sales. We had 14,601 home sale in the year 2019. Yet in the year 2020, we had 16,044 home sales. So that's an increase of 9.8%. So we sold 9.8% more homes this year, and we also saw an increase in the home values rise by 10.6%. Those numbers in and of themselves are phenomenal and amazing. Yeah, let's dive even farther through those numbers. What we know is that right now when we look at these numbers, is that of that 16,044 homes that sold in the year 2020, about 22.5% of those were new construction meaning that they were new, never been lived in. That means that they were built and hadn't been purchased yet. They were under construction, meaning that they were bought during the construction phase or to be built, meaning that they had not even started construction when the property went under contract. So that equates for 22.57% of the total home sales last year. Now, the next cool thing is that when we're looking at this, we realize that people that have been in their homes less than 10 years aren't selling. Right, So people that have been in their homes less than 10 years, they're just not selling their homes right now. Yet what we found is that homes that are 11 to 20 years of age, that is the largest percentage of homes that were sold in this past year. 20.7% of the total home sales were built between 11 and 20 years ago. So when you look at that and you go, okay, if I've been in my house longer than 11 years, now may be a great time to sell because you have got an amazing amount of appreciation. And, you know, if you were looking to buy a property that, you know, you're looking in this situation where, yes, the home prices have increased, yet your home value has increased dramatically and you've got a lot of equity in your property. So you may be able to pay cash for your home or you may even be able to put a large down payment on a new home that's a bigger home uh, if you're looking to upsize or maybe you're looking to just upsize in the type of home that you're looking for, uh, looking to get to move to that lake, those kind of things. Uh, definitely now is the time to get that property sold and move on to that. Let's also look at the areas. So when we look at the areas in this upstate and we say, okay, what are we looking at? Well, what we know is that the bulk of homes were sold in the Simpsonville and Spartanburg area. Now in Greenville County, in our multiple listing service, everything from um, Highway 14 over to the right as you're coming down, all that Spartanburg County, that is considered all of Spartanburg for the most part, lower Spartanburg there. So that's that Duncan, Reedville, Moore area. That area in and of itself was the largest area in the multiple listing service, meaning more homes are sold in that area than anywhere else in the upstate. And so that was 10.46% of the homes. Now, if you've driven out Highway 296 in that area, you know that the new construction homes out there have started to explode. And so everything through that area, you're looking at Spartanburg County below 85, that's 10.6 or 10.46% of all the total home sales. The next largest area is area 32. That's the Five Forks area. Everything between Woodruff Road and 385 all the way down to Fountain Inn. That area was the next largest bracket, and there were 9.2% of the homes that total 16,044 homes that sold in 2020 were sold in that area 32. Uh, let's look at area, let's come on down to the next largest area, which is going to be Paris Mountain. Um, if you've been up that way, you know that there's a lot of new subdivisions, new, con uh, new construction heading up that way as well. 
And in that area uh, on, on Paris Mountain, 7.8% of the total homes sold were sold in that area there on, on top of Paris Mountain. Everything else is, is minimal, below 5% uh, around there. There's a couple of areas in there at 6%. Yet those three areas, I think that Paris Mountain, that lower Spartanburg County, as you're looking from 85 uh, down to Lawrence, Lawrence County, and then also Area 32, which is Woodruff Road and 385, everything between that that block there uh, those are the three hottest areas to move into in the upstate so as you're looking at this the last thing i'd like to mention is in years past we've seen about a 97 percent list to sales price uh, that has increased this year that has increased from about 97.1 percent to 98.1 percent meaning that the negotiation windows for homes in this area have actually uh, dropped about 1%. So if you thought you were gonna negotiate 3% off of the list price, now what you're looking at is you're looking at less than 2% of the list price actually being negotiated off. So you may be giving too low of an offer and knocking yourself out of the ability to purchase a home if you are below or um, below or greater than the 3% uh, percentage of their list price. So. As you're going through this, I'd like to start kind of giving you these updates on a monthly basis. Um, feel free to click below or just reply to this email and say that you would like to get an, a monthly update, just once a month, of what's going on in the market and how we're seeing the market move. Uh, 2020 was a great year for real estate and it's a great year still in 2021. We have, an, have even more of a shortage of homes, not just in the area, yet also across the country. So now is a great time to sell. And if you're moving from another area and looking to move to Greenville, you got a great opportunity to uh, be able to sell there and still purchase an amazing value here. We've helped many people move from the New Jersey, New York area this year into the upstate. So looking forward to helping you. And if, as your real estate plans, as you figure out what your real estate goals are, whether that's investing in real estate, selling your current home, or purchasing a new home, this is a great, amazing time to be in real estate and also to, to start building your portfolio in real estate as well. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, we here at the J. Michael Manley team are here to help you and look forward to you having an amazing 2021.